is a level of apathy uh, that I have never seen before. And it's, to me, it's horrifying. There is no excuse at this point to continue to allow this to happen. Only on four, a detainee left on the floor in his own feces. His attorney tells us she snapped this photo while her client was inside the St. Louis City Justice Center. Lamar Pearson was arrested on Friday. He is charged with first degree assault. And tonight his attorney is calling what's happening inside the city's Justice Center cruel and unusual. Tonight, First Lord Forrest Justin Andrews is the only reporter talking to this lawyer tonight. He joins us live outside of the CJC after also Justin tracking down the city side to this ordeal. What they tell you. Yes, Sam, there are so many layers with this. The attorney telling me tonight what she saw yesterday inside the jail here were sick and disgusting. She says she's never seen anything like it in her 35 years of practicing law. Tonight, the city claims the photo she took was actually taken before her client was in CJC custody. I got up this morning worried that my client had died overnight because he got left on the floor. In a cell left lying in his own feces for days is how Susan McGraw saw her client Monday. She snapped these two pictures the moment she saw it. I've been a criminal defense lawyer for 35 years. I've been in dozens of jails and prisons. I've never seen anything even approaching this. McGraw's client, 35 year old Lamar Pearson, was arrested Friday and the next day slapped with first degree assault charges. The city's Department of Public Safety says Pearson reported a medical issue during his arrest. McGraw told me Pearson is paralyzed from the chest down, doesn't have control of his bowels, and was denied access to medical care. He has several prescriptions that he needs to take. He informed the jail of that was not given any prescriptions. However, the spokesperson for the city's public safety department argues when this photo was taken, Pearson was not in the city justice center's custody, but under the sheriff's department. We're told he was in a holding cell awaiting his court appearance. The city needs to professionalize its conduct at the city jail. The city statement reads in part, Pearson's official status as a CJC detainee only commenced after his court appearance. Following this, he was provided with a shower and issued a detainee uniform, marking his official transition into the custody of the CJC. For years, First Alert 4 has been all over complaints about the troubled jail, from detainee deaths to protests to a slew of medical issues ignored by staff. I don't know why the mayor's office has no interest in improving these conditions. There has been nothing but lip service. McGraw claims this incident is just one of a series of medical mismanagement by those at the Justice Center. The attorney tells First Alert 4 CJC detainees are charged, not convicted of a crime. She says they're treated inhumanely. They are presumed to be innocent under the law, yet we treat them worse than people would treat their own dog in this situation. All right, so right before news time, I did reach out to Sheriff Vernon Betts, and he told me that Pearson was not in a holding cell on his side of the jail, calling the city's claims a lie. Sam. And Justin, I want to talk to you, too, about that picture. It's on, on its own. It could be problematic. It's against jail rules, we know, to take pictures inside of that facility. My first question was, how did it get taken in the first place? We since, of course, learned the attorney took it. Uh, did you ask her about that and why she did it, what she had to say? Yeah, I did ask her about that. McGraw said that she is aware of that rule. Take a listen to what she said when I asked her about it. We are forced to take pictures of our clients because I don't think the public has any understanding how poorly an administration is willing to treat people. Now, McGraw says that her client has another bond hearing Monday afternoon. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Justin Andrews, First Alert 4. Case will continue to follow, Justin. Thank you. New here at